What's up guys, it's Notion. I'm trying out a new video format. Obviously I'm I'm new to YouTube, but it's a space that I've been in for a long time. I'm sure like the rest of you, it's kind of a place of comfort and a source of entertainment at this point. It's a platform of which I've always kind of been mesmerized by. I've never really gotten to movies or TV or really anything like that or any other socials like TikTok or Instagram or any really any of them. YouTube has kind of always been the place that in a way I've called home. So today I kind of wanted to take a page out of the weekly slap and those types of channels. You know, shout out to Jay Slat. If you're into old school YouTube like commentaries, give it a look. It's really it's definitely going to be worth your time if, if that's the sort of thing that you've kind of missed since the old days of YouTube. But for now, at least, I kind of want to give that format a shot, at least for a little while. Uh, it may be daily, it may be weekly, I I'm not too sure yet, but obviously since I'm new to the platform, I'm going to be experimenting, kind of trying to find my place. Uh, I do have one other video up, kind of in the in a Misfits, like, funny moments style, but, you know, no offense to the guys, I've just kind of lost the interest in that sort of video. I I'm definitely not opposed to making it in the future, especially as, you know, those types of moments occur with the friends who I, I play with, but... For right now, I've been kind of binging a lot of the weekly slap, you know, still watching Jev all the time and Charlie, the Critical, and those types of videos. So that's kind of what I wanted to do. And today I wanted to talk mainly about dreams and inspiration. So for me, my, my biggest dream, as I'm sure many others, was to be a YouTuber. And... Looking back now, I feel as though that's something I should have definitely pursued with a lot of intensity as I was younger, but I'm also a lot happier with who I've become as I've grown, and you know, I've found success outside of like the internet, and I'm thankful for that, I'm happy for that, but I would feel as though I'm leaving a stone unturned, and quite a big one. For me, YouTube has, it's just, it's a special place in my heart, and I find immense respect for the people that have done it for a long time and haven't really lost sight of who they really are. So that's something that, you know, as time goes on, I would like to kind of explore myself through the content I make while also providing a, a place for those who are kind of looking for s these types of you know words these types of videos and kind of find a place where they feel a little bit more comfortable about where they are in life so the main things I want to discuss is again dreams and inspiration and inspiration I've kind of tackled in the former like youtubers and creators that I've looked up to and then I turn to dreams and with me the the biggest thing here is that I think many of us including myself we have these dreams and these goals and then we make up excuses to never really chase them and whether it be us comparing ourselves to others or to those who have lost what they've gained and saying you know well at least i didn't go through that and or looking at the people that we've grown up with and and watched for years and saying like uh you know they've always been there and I'm, I'm not and that's just what it is you know it I don't think it's something that we can look back on and say well I should have started in 2010 or should have started in 2015 or I should have started in 2019 or even 2022 you know it's 2023 now and it it'll never be those years again and I think the most you can do is stop that process of saying I should have done it then I should have done it then and just do it now you know whatever your goals may be I know people and their biggest goal is like <laughs> to paint you know and there's nothing wrong with that I just think that you should do it. it it shouldn't be this intangible dream that you have that only ever exists in your head it should be something that you can look at and say well I did try you know it, it's better to try and to fail than to never try and 
outside of the internet, outside of YouTube, I've watched, you know, people at the end of their lives saying like, uh, I've, I wish I gave my dream a shot. I wish that I could go back and, and give it one more go. And that's what I fear more than anything in the world. So I, I don't want to leave exploring YouTube and giving it a real shot and finding my creative voice. I, I don't want to let that all fade away into some unmanifested lofty goal that I just thought was implausible so I just never even tried. Because look at all of the content creators you look up to or just people you look up to in general. Would they be where they were if they let fear prevent them from taking the first step? They most definitely would not. And I'm sure you can point to at least one person that was handed everything on a silver platter and good for them. You know, that's not me and that's likely not you. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. All that does is provide a little extra merit to what you end up doing. And if your dream is to be the best carpenter in the world or the best office jockey in the world, like what, whatever it is, you know, I think that taking the steps to do that is what's required of you to a certain extent. You know, I don't think you can get anywhere by just wishing and wishing and wishing and wishing. Because even if there is something listening to your wishes, I think that you have to take the first step to turn them into a reality. And that's something that with each passing day, I, I find myself beginning to regret never trying. So I've decided, you know, I may not have the time to give it a shot as, <laughs> you know, as though maybe like a 18 year old kid who has no obligations may do but I don't want that to become an excuse for me where you know hey I never even bothered but you know I was too busy anyways I think if it's really something you are passionate about you can make the time and I think that's what's most important to take away from this today and likely where I'll leave it today so with that I want to thank you for watching uh, if you have any topics that you'd like me to touch on or just games you'd like me to try out or anything in general or video styles that you think would be pretty interesting, feel free to let me know. I'd really appreciate that. And if not, thank you for your time. <laughs> Leave a like if you so please. Uh, I'm not really expecting much out of anybody. So, again, thank you very much. I wish you the best. Take the first step to some of those dreams. Get the ball rolling. And you'll look back on it and you'll be glad that you did. See ya.